Okay, this is Dr. Liu, and uh, I have this one teaching apparatus I'm going to show you in the video. But uh, if you happen to be the uh, uh, the, the judges to the uh, AAPT uh, Summer 2012 Apparatus Competition, uh, people, please don't uh, watch this video at the moment yet. Uh, just wait for my entry. Um, so let's bring this over and take a look. And what I have here is a uh, what I call a smart track. This is a just a wooden track. Actually, it was a, was a, uh, a resistance a resistance characterization apparatus. I'm just using this as a, uh, a track for a cart to uh, to slide on it. Um, I don't really ha actually have a track yet. And uh, being a smart track it is able to tell where exactly the uh, the uh, the cart is. And uh, this is a cart. It's actually just two or uh, 500 grams uh, stacked together. It would be a typical uh, Pasco car with 500 grams and also 500 grams of weight loaded onto the cart to make it one kilo. And these just weights to weigh down the wooden track so it wouldn't tip on one end. And uh, the principle behind how this thing is able to, uh, to measure uh, location of the cart is very simple. It's a one dimensional equilibrium problem with, uh, with forces balancing and also torques balancing. Uh, to, f to find out the positions, you have to find the forces. So here, you can see there's one vernier force gauge. Here's two more. Uh, the reason of only having one here but two over here is that uh, if I only had two gauges, one on each end, it would wobble. The, uh, uh, this track would not really stay stable enough. So I decided to have two of these, so the track actually stays quite stable enough uh, to do the measurement. And uh, here I have actually this, this old resistance measurement device has a meter stick. And I have my cart, quote unquote, placed at 80 centimeters. Uh, let's see, 80 centimeters. Pretty easy to look through the, uh, uh, the grooves right here to see where the uh, the cart, quote unquote cart, is exactly located. And uh, all three force gauges are connected to this box which I call Open Source uh, Physics Laboratory Data Acquisition System I designed and, uh, and made. And uh, these are the, uh, the force gauges. That's just a power supply. There's also a wire that comes out and uh, connects to the uh, for near handheld uh, lab quest, and you can see it's actually displaying 1.8 meters uh, because I'm actually emulating. If I just take a quick screenshot here, it says emulating uh, Sonic Ranger, which means it's actually emulating how a Sonic Ranger works. So when the uh, the lab quest talks to the uh, the box, it thinks the box is just a Sonic Ranger. So. Uh, because of that, you cannot really supply a zero meter with a sonic ranger. Uh, you can only supply maybe down to 16 centimeters. So I decided to put a one meter offset so that everything that's on the, uh, the meter stick uh, gets added and offset of one, exactly one meter. So it's actually showing 1.8 meters, which is where the, uh, this quote unquote card is located, 80 centimeters. So if I start sliding this to 60 here, so 60 centimeters right now, and I go back here and see, well, <clears throat> 1.6, isn't that nice? And I can just move this again, maybe to 20 centimeters. Okay, you can see the, uh, the wooden uh, board could actually wobble, and if, if I only had two feet, it would wobble quite, quite badly. So this is 20 centimeters. And here we go, uh, 1.2 with the other. Uh, intentional offset. So with this so-called smart uh, smart track, you can actually find out the position of your uh, uh, your, your cart. Besides, it's a very nice tool to, uh, to show students how easy it is to, uh, to actually to use a physics principle to construct something that's useful. And if you want to relate this to uh, anything else you know, application-wise, this is a one-dimensional uh, Nintendo Wii balance board. That's a board you actually stand on and you can lean uh, to the side and forward backward to uh, make it into a game control pad. 
And that's a two-dimensional thing. It actually has four gauges to measure the center mass of the, uh, the player. And uh, another application is Segway, where you actually stand on this two-wheeled uh, vehicle and if you, if you lean forward or backward, it actually uh, it moves forward and backward. Uh, exactly the same principle uh, by find, uh, using the uh, principle of uh, uh, equilibrium. Okay, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching.